Hi, my name is Maria and I'm a mathematician and today I'm going to teach you how to tell whether a fraction lies between two other fractions. So if we've got the three fractions, um, let's see, let's take two thirds, one half, and three fifths. And you're trying to figure out if one half does indeed lie between these two fractions. What we're going to have to do is convert them so that they all have the same denominator and then we can compare their numerators. So we're looking for the LCM of 3, 2, and 5. We're looking for the smallest number that all three of those numbers can go into. If we need help, we can just start listing out our multiples. So I would start with 3, 6, 9, 12, and I do the same thing with 2, and I would do the same thing with 5. And if you go on and on, you're going to see that your LCM is going to be 30, and we'll catch that. All right, so now that I know that my least common multiple is 30, I'm going to convert all of these fractions so that they all have a denominator of 30. So how did I get from 3 to 30? I did times 10. So now I'm going to have to do the numerator times 10. So 2 times 10 is 20. Now how did I get from 2 to 30? I did times 15. So I'm going to do 1 times 15, which is just 15. And now to get from 5 to 30, I had to do times 6. So I'm doing 3 times 6, which is 18. Now that all of my fractions have the same denominator, I can just compare their numerators. And if I do that, I see that 15 over 30 is not between 20 and 18. So if I want to rearrange it, I'll do from least to greatest. My smallest numerator, oops, my smallest numerator is 15. So 15 over 30 would be my smallest fraction. 18 over 30 would be my second fraction and 20 over 30 would be my largest fraction. And then I can just go ahead and see which ones they correspond to. So 1 half is my smallest one, and then 18 over 30 was 3 fifths, that's my second one, and 2 thirds is my largest one. And I just showed you how to tell whether or not a fraction lies between two other fractions.